Welcome to Books That Speak, the sensitively woven story about two siblings and their community navigating the distress of COVID-19. The beautiful story about the siblings to remind ourselves about during and post COVID-19 era. The title of the story: Rainbows in Windows, written by the Think Equal team, illustrated by Shamim Ahmed. Published by Think Equal, narrated by Asavari Dush. A tiny little virus has come to our city, and to all the other cities in the world. If you get sick, you can make others sick too. So until it's gone, we wear masks and gloves, and we don't stand too close to other people. I love my little brother so much. My heart breaks when he is sad. He usually has the sweetest little beaming smile, but now he is holding his little arms out to me. They are shaking, and his fists are tightly clenched. But what is a virus? He howled. A virus. i explained is the tiniest of living things so tiny that you can't even see it except if you have a microscope when it gets into a person the person can get sick then a sick person can make others sick too i i want i want to go to the playground he takes big gulps of air in between each word i know i say but we can't go out because of the virus do you remember how in winter you sneezed and coughed and your cheeks were red and hot well that was called the flu and that was because a virus got into you and then you got better well this is also a virus just a new kind of virus we did some hot chocolate breathing we breathed out over the pretend hot chocolate to cool it down and then breathe in sucking the hot chocolate through the straw as he did this his breathing grew calmer his little mouth nearly smiled even when he tasted the imaginary hot chocolate and then we did something brand new that i learned in school it's called take a break make a plan It's for when we have big big feelings and we want to calm down. It's okay to feel sad and angry that we can't go out to play. All feelings are okay, but we can help ourselves to feel calm and remember that everything will be all right again before too long. I told my little brother about everyone in our country who is working together. all the clever scientists in the whole world to help people stop the virus from spreading and to help everyone stay healthy i told him about the women and the men who work as doctors and nurses and helpers in our hospitals they are helping the people who get sick to get better and that is why last night we all went out to our windows and gave a big applause to thank them i told him about all the hundreds of thousands of people who are volunteers which means they care so much about other people that they are helping them stay well and we are going to put this rainbow up in the window to say thank you to all those kind and good people who are helping everyone So when the kind doctors and nurses and helpers are caring for us we can also thank them by listening to what they say that we keep a good distance from other people stay at home for a time wash our hands a lot not sneeze or cough into the air and sometimes wear masks I taught him how to wash his hands very very well We wash in between all the fingers and we rub our hands together strongly in the soapy water not forgetting the thumbs and the nails while we wash we can count to 20 or sing one of our favorite songs but always remember not to waste the water 
I taught him that the virus is found in our mouths and our noses. So if we are coughing or sneezing, we must cough into our arm, not into the air, so the virus does not get to the other people. This is how we take care of each other. We decided on things which we both wanted to do and cannot do right now because of the virus. I wrote them down for both of us. And we decided that when the virus is over, we will pull one piece of paper out of the jar every day and then go out and do whatever was written on the paper. I showed my little brother a magic way to understand what a virus is. I took a bowl of water and I poured pepper into it. You could try it too. I told him to imagine the tiny pepper dots were the virus and then I told him to wait for the magic. All I did was wash my hands with soap and put my soapy finger in the water. The paper dots all rushed to the side of the ball. Magic! Now that the tiny little virus had stopped spreading, everyone is playing outdoors again and my little brother's beaming smile has come back out like the sun. This was the day we picked the paper from the jar that said, Go out to buy ice cream. Now we only remember the virus when we see the rainbows, which everyone has left in their windows, to remind us all to be kind and take care of one another. This was the beautiful story about the siblings to remind ourselves about during and post COVID-19 era. Thank you for listening to the story. For such wonderful stories, visit our channel Books That Speak on YouTube and many other podcasting channels website www.booksthatspeak.com. See you again. Bye-bye. Thank you.